We're going to start at the back of the boat, work our way forward. This boat's a very sporty boat, very fast boat. You'll see it in the video when we take it out for a spin. Let me show you the features topside first. Starting at the back, we have a nice large swim platform with the Reese's boarding ladder, which is hidden underneath this hatch right here. Okay, easy access on and off the boat, a lot of room back here. If you're hanging out at the sandbar, you have a sun pad. We also have the filler piece, which right now I have on the table, where your walkway is getting on and off the boat. On the left-hand side, we have the trim and tilt for the lower unit, okay? And then we also have a transom fresh water shower. Boat is equipped with fresh water. Center of the transom, little storage compartment. If you wanna put a little ice, little refreshments in there while you're hanging out the sandbar and whatnot, you can. Ski hook, grab handle to get off on, the boat, on and off the boat. And then we have our remote stereo. Just to underneath and to the right of the remote stereo, or uh, remote for the stereo, we have our battery hookup. The boat is equipped with a battery charger. Courtesy lights, walking in through the channel, getting into the cockpit. And then as I come forward, we have Reese's cleats. Little basket here for your footing if you're getting on and off at a dock. Battery switch, you'll see in the pictures, conveniently located just in front of the walkway. And then in order to put the filler piece on, all you do is just lift up your engine compartment. This slides into place. Now you have your full sun pad. Nice cockpit table, okay? You can spin it around. It does have different positions that you can put it in, okay? The actual pole itself has a bend to it, so I can move it around if I want it a little further or closer to you. Off to the starboard side, we have a fresh water sink, space for your cooler, space for your fire extinguisher, couple speakers in the back of the boat, cup holders throughout, okay? Underneath the seat, we have some additional storage on both sides, cup holders off to the port side, and then two very comfortable captain's chairs. Uh, I have the flip up bolster on this one right now. I have it in the up position. You can also see it on the down position. Nice large bimini top, full enclosure, nice stainless, okay? Easy to fold up and collapse. You have the bimini boot for the bimini top, okay? And then walking all the way forward, we come to the helm. We have a Ritchie compass, dead center of the steering wheel. It is a flip wheel, tilt wheel. Display of gauges. Once again, another remote for the stereo. And then you have your uh, breakers for the, uh, or rocker switches for the 12 volt accessory. Boat is equipped with a digital depth sounder. Does have the stereo like I mentioned before. We also have uh, trim tabs on this particular boat. At the center of the windshield, we have a walkthrough. Easy access up to the bow. If you want it to the glow of the anchor, if you just want to hang out up front, you could have a bow cushion made for it if you wanted to lay out forward. Snapping carpet on this particular model, and you'll see that in the uh, options list at the bottom of the listing. That pretty much uh, does it for the top side. Let's take you down below into the cabin. Below in the cabin, right now we have it set up with the full sleeper, okay? Um, we do have porta potty that is plumbed, okay? Two forward speakers, two lights, center hatch all the way forward, couple more, a couple more uh, portholes on either side of, of the boat. Total, you have four lights down below, okay? You can't see it in the video, but you'll see it in the pictures. You do have some storage compartment down here to my right. And if I turn around, a little more storage compartment. There's the boot for the Bimini. Stereo's located down here. And then we also have a little storage compartment. Let's take this boat out for a quick spin, show you how she performs.